Okay, I uh, went ahead and took my metal piece that looks like a clock, and it's metal, and I used this spray adhesive. Very sticky, and it took a good while to dry. I, I wasn't, I didn't, the smell wasn't too bad. I just didn't particularly care for it all. Um, so for our next part, I am thinking of doing <laughs> Let's try tacky glue and see what happens. I don't mind getting my fingers dirty. I may end up just going straight for the hot glue gun because this stuff really seems messy. Yeah, I'm not feeling this, guys. So, let's get the handy dandy. hot glue gun and go from there. Much better, I do believe. Boy, talking about being hands-on with this, y'all are definitely can tell this isn't scripted or yeah I am not feeling that tacky glue either I don't like uh, I don't mind getting my hands dirty I just don't want a really huge mess. No, we won't use this in this project. Here's something else I've made. See this? It's a face mold made out of paper. We'll use a different project and we'll use this on something different. If you have any ideas on what you think I should do with this, please put it in the comic se comment section of the YouTube channel. And uh, we will see what we can come up with. So, since that was not what I was looking for, looking for my bag of glue. glue gun is taking a bit to get warmed up here. Okay, so let's see.
Yes, I should turn this where you can see what the heck I'm doing now. This before it gets painted and everything, after all this is glued on here, it's going to be really ugly looking. But once it's all painted and everything is done, it really looks fantastic. These are the rivets. Look. You put them on the seams like you would if it was on a building. See, they look like rivets. Now, for those of you that don't want to sit through this whole video, just watch me just uh, hot gluing foam board to a hat. I don't know what to tell y'all. It's part of the creative process. It's not like when you're watching me do one of my paintings. When you're watching me do one of my paintings, it's a little different. And even the rivets aren't perfect, which is another, you know, good thing. I didn't even know what steampunk was till about a year ago, and I caught a video. Now, see, I've got rivets here and here, but I'm thinking I'm going to put some rivets here to give the illusion that it's more pieces. Because I'm going to go into more of the chunky pieces as this goes on. I would time lapse this, but I don't know how to do that, so. You guys are kind of stuck with it. I'm sorry. You know, we need you to like, share, comment, these types of things. It helps our channel grow. grow. And that is something we need. I have a Facebook page just for my art. Um, that'll be in the description box down below. There'll also be a link to Craftstar, Craftstar.com, and that's an awesome place to buy crafts, supplies, and art. Absolutely amazing. On Craft Star, if you like the steampunk jewelry, there is a lady on there, uh, Rhonda, that makes exquisite steampunk jewelry. There are some craft suppliers on there. There is all kinds of crafts. There's soaps, there's body washes, there's everything. There's all kinds of stuff. If it's handmade, it's on Craft Star. 
and they're all from all over the country. Did everybody do the um, enjoy the hashtag love summer art? I think there was probably over a hundred different crafters, painters, you name it. Cinnamon, the art sharpa off of YouTube, she organized it and she did an amazing job. She says she's going to do more. I hope they do. Gets everybody involved in it. Clive's Five Art was involved. Uh, Dusty Gonterman, she has a Facebook. Uh, I mean, she has Facebook, but she also has a YouTube channel. She put her first painting on there. Absolutely wonderful. It's a surreal painting. I really like it. She's a really good artist. I learned a lot from her with my painting. So basically, while you're doing yours, you just cut the foam any way you want it. It's whatever is in your head. Wherever you think it looks good. I just thought I'd put a band around this. It's what popped into my head. And then the rest of it's going to be all chunked up. You're sending me a text message at 12.44 in the morning. You do not need to be answered. Gotta have to hold it just a little bit so it holds. My glue gun's acting funky. I haven't used it in a year. <laughs> I've been busy painting. If all goes well, I'm going to be starting college next month. We'll see. 
kind of having some hiccups in the road. I just hope to get it worked out. Okay, so. These aren't even the same width, hence Steampunk. Do you want some of the... Anybody has any ideas on how to keep your glue from backing up here in this nozzle? Please feel free to leave me comments in the comment section. I don't understand why it keeps doing that. It makes it very difficult to do what you need to do when it does that kind of thing. So those of you that use this hot glue gun on a regular basis have any answers to that, I am so willing to hear it. I think you guys have the general idea of what's going on here. So I think I'll post this video and I think I will let all of y'all put your, oh, it would be so great if you could post pictures. I would love to see pictures. So I'm going to give you my, um, I have another Facebook page that's for artists, uh, not just strictly my art, but for other artists. So I'm going to put that link on there too, the treasure box, face treasure box. And I would so love to see if anybody does this, does their steampunk. I would love to see what they would come up with on their steampunk hats. So I'm going to post this video as is, and then I will come back after I have this completely um, with foam pieces. See how this one isn't even straight? And then I will put one over here that's like this, and one that's like that, and cut them up into chunks all over the hat. The next video, that all will be done, and then we'll go to the next step. I think that would be best instead of you sitting here watching me for God knows how long, gluing and uh, this foam board. It just really cannot be that interesting to you guys. So, when you get there, I'll get this loaded and put up, and then uh, maybe y'all can work on it this week. And then uh, we'll hopefully tomorrow I'll have another video to go up for the next set. And then I would love to see if you guys do it and what you guys end up coming up with. It would be so great to see. Okay, guys, I will come back after this is all chunked up.